55 um, in this lecture video let's take a look at addition and subtraction of polynomials so before um, I do any problem let me kind of explain a couple things what is a polynomial uh, what is so-called a polynomial is actually an algebra expression that made out of many unlike terms with the same variable but different exponents. Okay, it's so an algebraic expression that's made out of many unlike terms with the same variable but different exponents. So for example, um, for example, maybe something like x to the fourth power minus 3x to the third plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 4. Okay, this will be a good example of a polynomial made out of four, excuse me, five terms, all using the same variable x, but the exponent is all different. Therefore, none of them are like terms okay so we normally write our exponents okay in a polynomial we actually write our exponent in a descending order okay write them in a descending order the very last term okay the very last term is considered as the constant term because this is the term that look like there is no variable here but there is actually one it's actually x to the zero power since x to the zero power is always one, that's why we normally don't write x to the zero power or um, on the last term. So we call that the constant term. Okay. So the exponent normally is writing written in descending order. Okay. So four, three, two, one, and zero power. Okay. Um, the very first term. Okay, which is called the leading term. Which term should be in the front? Um, always going to be the term with the highest exponent, and that's called the. That's actually called the degree of the polynomial. Degree of the polynomial is referring to the highest exponent. Because whatever which term, okay, has the highest exponent, which is the degree then that term will be the very first term, okay? So the degree of polynomial for my example will be four, okay? The highest exponent, that's why x to the fourth is called the leading term. That term gotta be in the front, okay? Because it's very important that we know the degree of polynomial so we know when it comes to adding and subtracting polynomial, which term should go first, okay? So here I write, uh, the add and subtract polynomial is just like combine like terms. So when we combine like terms, all we're going to do is simply add or subtract coefficients. And we do nothing with the exponents. So with the exponent rule we had before where we add the exponent, subtract the exponent, and multiply the exponents. Those are referring to one term. Okay, Those are referring to problems that we do that is considered as one term only. Right? right now, we are dealing with multiple terms, okay? So all we have to do is basically add and subtract the coefficient, do nothing with the exponents. So very big difference between problems such as x plus x versus x times x. So when we have x times x, this is only one term. So that's the reason why when the base are the same, we can add the exponent and say that's x squared. x times x is x squared add the exponent but when we are dealing with multiple terms we simply combine its coefficient so one x plus another x that will give me two x we do nothing with the exponent because we're not we're not doing what we're not doing multiplication or division okay with our variable all right so the the best way to add and subtract polynomial is basically um con do the things that we've done before, which is identify your terms, distribute if needed, and then we can combine. 
So with this plus sign outside the parenthesis, what's in front of it is one term. What's behind it is another term. So the plus sign goes with the term that follows. So that means my second term is really using a positive one that will do a distribution. Now in front of my first term, there's no numerical number here, so that's assumed to be positive one. So that I will use a positive one to do distribution. So then I can bring all my term to the outside the parentheses. So that will be negative three x squared, negative eight, positive one times three x squared, positive three x squared, positive one times negative five is negative five. So if you look at this polynomial, the degree is two, the highest exponent is two. So I will combine the terms with the highest exponent first and then go down by the order of the exponent. So combine like term, negative three x squared plus three more x squared will actually cancel them out. So I have no more x squared, so I don't write anything. Combine like term, negative eight minus five, term with the same sign we add. So my answer, negative 13 for this problem. All right, let's try it again, okay? So this is positive plus sign outside the parentheses. So in front of it is one term. Behind it is another term. So my second term, I will use a positive one to do a distribution. Okay. Um, in front of the very first term, there's no numerical value, so I can use a positive one again to do distribution. All right, positive one, multiply these three terms, bring them out, nothing change. Positive one times those two terms, that will be negative seven x squared and positive nine x. So now my degree is two, the highest exponent is two, so I will combine the x squares first. So negative two x squared minus seven x squared, turn with the same sign, we add, so we get negative nine x squared. All right, the, so after x squared, I will combine term that, that will be x to the first power, which will be my ax and nine x, which is ax plus nine x will give me positive 17 x. And my last term got to be negative eight. So again, the exponents are different, so therefore none of these three terms are like terms. So this got to be my answer. All right, let's try some with subtraction. Okay, this is one of the easiest way to do it is where we just do distribution and combine like term. So in front of it, my first term. All right, is x squared uh, is x squared plus four x. So what's in front of that parenthesis? Got to be a positive one. Then we'll do a distribution. My second term is negative. How much? Is negative what? Negative one. Okay, times all these three terms in the inside. So my second term this time I will use negative one to do a distribution. So first term positive one multiply those two terms coming out still the same all right my second term negative one times negative seven x squared positive seven x squared negative one times negative positive five x is negative five x negative one times negative eight is positive eight so my degree is two because the highest exponent is two so we'll combine the x squares first so one x squared plus seven more x squared will give me eight x squared Right, combine like terms, 4x minus 5x will be negative 1x, and my last term, positive 8. All right, so that's all it is to it. Distribution, just like we've done before, and then combine like terms. All right, so let's try this one more time. All right, this has got to be the first term in front of my subtraction sign. My second term, I must use a negative 1. Because sometimes there there might be a number right here, uh, you know, so that's the reason why I like to show students how to do distribution okay, for a problem like this. So if you don't see a number that's a negative one, that will do a distribution. In front of my first term of that parenthesis, there's nothing there, so that assumes to be positive one, that will do a distribution. So that will so positive one times those two terms coming up still the same. Negative one times negative three x squared is positive three x squared. Negative one times positive eight x is negative eight x. Negative one times negative one is positive nine. So when I combine again, degree is two. 
So we will say negative 5x squared plus 3x squared. Turn with different sign, we subtract. So that's negative 2x squared. Right. Uh, negative ax got nobody nobody else combined with so that's still negative ax all right four plus nine positive what, 13 okay so in this lecture video I just kind of quickly mentioned what a polynomial is okay showing you what uh, mentioning degree of the polynomial and when it comes to add and subtract polynomial we can just do our distributive property Bring all the terms to the outside, the parentheses, and combine like term. All right, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.